Hey guys, Josh Packard again with Abigail Packard and my dog Cypher, you might see him pop up and down. We've been walking for a few miles just trying to get uh, the baby to, to chill out. And now it looks like she's out, so we'll see if I can make it through without waking her up. Okay, well we're gonna continue with the series this week of these short videos, just kind of, I'm gonna try to show you the, the scriptures that, um, that once I came to life in Christ, these scriptures were really paramount in it. Because um, I started out as a very zealous Christian and I did all the right works and everything else and I just, I never felt like I was doing anything right. Um, and uh, you know, I want to see there's other people out there that are they're really seeking the Lord and they're doing everything they're being told to do, but it's just not it's not helping. It's not satisfying. So I want to show you these verses that have that have kind of set me free and hopefully they'll do the same for you. So today we're going to talk about First uh, John 4:18 and 19, and this is kind of the next series. We talked about um, you know Romans uh, 8, 29 and 30. Uh, last night was 1 Corinthians 15, and then tonight is 1 John 4, 18 and 19. And I'm going to start in 15 just to keep us in context. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that you may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has torment, and he that fears is not yet made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us, and that's 19, 18 and 19. So I don't really need to explain it, but I'm going <laughs> to. So um, this in 17 it says herein is love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in the world well that's literal as he is so are we in this world what is what does that mean um because christ when he died on the cross he died and rose again to make us into his likeness and in his image and so the only way that you can ever perform that is to know that god is love that he loves you that there's nothing there's nothing god's holding against you as a bug. So, um, I also want to see this part 18 is the one that really got me. It says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has torment. And he that fears is not made perfect in love. Well, what that means is that if you, if you were perfect in love, you'd have no fear. Right? Well, that's just, that's like how Jesus was in this world. He had no fear. He never, he never, uh, he never had sinned before God. Like he never thought that he was unpleasing to his father. He always said, I do that which pleases my father. My father loves me and I love him. I always do that which pleases my father. You know, this is the attitude that we should be having because I'm not talking to those of you that are sinners or that are not repentant. I'm talking to those that are, uh, you know, that truly are seeking the Lord, yet they're not finding the fulfillment. So um, this last bit in 19, says we love him because he first loved us and that's how everything is in this entire walk of faith everything is God based we love him because he first loved us we were saved that we would repent we were saved that we would believe we were saved that we would have faith it's not the other way around because everyone really likes to say oh you have to repent to be saved well I'm sorry because until you're saved you don't even have any idea of what to repent to sorry so anyways folks I hope that this verse really helps you out. Um, it helped me out. I'm going to continue going on. I mean, I know a lot of you already know this stuff, but to really take it to heart and say, you know what, really, that, that we are as Christ on this earth. And, and what that means is not meaning being a perfect Christian or being a, a good person, because you know what? People thought Jesus was not a good person, so much so that they crucified him. So how, why would you even worry if other people thought that you weren't a good person? It doesn't make no sense, does it? So, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, relax. Christ has got this. He is working it out in you, and he will, he will bring it to where you have nothing to fear, that there's no shame between you and him. Anyway, folks, have a good night. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, in Jesus' name, amen.